So you've just you've just been around the world shooting Kenny. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we, we went. Uh, we spent two months travelling the world. Went to uh, I think sixteen countries and twenty seven cities and a hundred locations in, uh, in in eight weeks. So it was a it really was a whirlwind wind tour. And uh, got to places like India and um, Thailand and China and you know we were through, you know Russia, mm -hmm. um, Sweden. You know a lot of diverse cultures and uh, I mean a lot of fantastic people. It was a great a great mm -hmm. tour, but a real eye opener too. Kenny, Kenny's world mm. um, is coming out in the year of sanitation, which mm -hmm. this year is. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I mean, one of the reasons we're obviously chatting here today is to talk about some of the stuff that we've seen. And, and, and the UN year of sanitation is one of those things where people, as soon as you hear it, people actually think you're kidding, you know. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> people do giggle. I mean, it's an obvious response, I suppose. You go, it's the year of sanitation. <laughs> but obviously the United Nations aren't ones for making jokes. There's, mm -hmm. there's never a decision they make lightly about, no. I've got this great idea for a game. Let's, do Let's it. call it the year of toilets. Because <laughs> you know there's World Toilet Day coming up on the 19th of November. No, I didn't. It's actually, it's actually World, like a World Toilet, toilet Day. World you know, toilet and I mean, day. if you don't know that, the well, public don't know that. And that's to bring awareness to those sorts to of things. Thing. And, you know, looking at things like building... When is it? The 19th of... 19th of November. Right. So, and it's, you know, it's looking at things like well, many different things, but looking at sanitation and looking at building pit toilets, you know, in the developing world and stuff like that. So that people do have private, you know, private places to... Absolutely. Navigate. No, you know the stat we were talking before we started filming, that 40% of the world's population don't have access to decent sanitation. Which is incredible. When you when you think that, I mean, the amount of money we spend on whatever else it might be, mm. and the fact that there's nothing we do more than, you know, go to the eat, toilet sleep, sleep and go to the toilet. Yeah, you know? I mean, it's about dignity too and pride, isn't it? Mm. So put it in, you say 40% of the world's population, I, for you and me, um, and for most of the people that be watching this, I think they can put that in context and go, that is a lot of people. But mm -hmm. like to give you an idea, in India alone, for instance, mm -hmm. that equates to 750 million people yeah. in that country that don't have access to decent sanitation. Yeah. And as a result, I, um, I know before, same again, we, we both know the, the, the facts and figures, but I know most people don't when you talk about, you know, over 1.5 million people a year, children a year dying um, mm -hmm. from diarrhoea mm -hmm. um, just because of bad managed water systems and, and bad sanitation. Yeah. And it's it's not something we need to find a cure for. Diarrhoea is not a mystery disease. Everyone, we all know it. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, <laughs> it's, it's not like hands where we go, we're just trying to figure out how <coughs> this is happening. Like there is, no, there is no question as to how it happens. It's just they can't do anything about it because of poverty. And in some, sometimes it's education, and sometimes it's cultural, you know. Yep. But the reality is, whatever it is, that kids are dying from it. Yep. And uh, and gee, if it's just education, a bit of money that can get that across the line. And I mean, that's like it's like six thousand kids a day, is that what it approximately. Yeah. Six thousand children kids a, day. a day, just from the fact that they don't have clean water. Ninety percent of raw sewage in develop, developing countries goes into the waterways untreated. Yeah. And then those waterways are where people are getting, if they can get to water, that's the place they're getting their water. And, that, and that's and the thing. Like we are, we are, you know, one bathroom, one kitchen, one meter away from a tap with yeah. clean water. Same again. You strip back everything. Do they have a television? No. Do they have a car? No. And, they and I mean, and we know we're at the top of the list. You get all mm. the way down to do they have decent food, sanitation, and the answer is no to nearly all of it. Um, but they've got hope, joy, and a smile, and they play with a tied up piece of rag in the street with a, with an eternal football. Unbelievable. Um, but gee whiz, you know, you, you look at that, and I know the average person would go, you know, they don't even, you know, wouldn't it be great to send them? Wouldn't it be great to send them some books? And mm. wouldn't it be great to send them a Tonka toy? And you go, no. Wouldn't it be great to give them a toilet? Yeah. Yep. Well, I think if we, made, if we made it, if we made it, everyone's mission to just keep repeating that stat that every yeah. every twenty four hours that clicks by, yeah. um, that six thousand kids have just died from diarrhoea. Yeah. I think once people hear that, and if you get people to keep, I mean, you know, if we ask anyone a favour, yeah. <clears throat> it should be to start getting that, to, just to let people know that. Yeah. And I think if, if if we just said just repeat that stat alone, keep yeah. telling people that stat, yeah. it means at the point that someone goes, did you hear that it's a UN year of sanitation? Mm -hmm. People may then not jump straight to a heel and go. You know, I heard that there's 6,000 kids a day, and I know people mm -hmm. are going to want to doubt it, mm -hmm. and or they're going to want to be suspicious of it, or they're going to want to say, you know what, that can't be right. Mm -hmm. But they're just going to have to believe you on me that it is. Yeah. Um, and that the more that people repeat that figure, the more that when World Vision put their hand up and go, guys, can we just have your attention for a moment to an issue yeah. that I know it sounds amusing, but it's not. And that figure you've all been telling each other, you know what, it is fact, mm -hmm. and we're going to try and do something to change it. Then, yeah. then hopefully when someone, by the 19th of November, you know, wouldn't the dream be when someone goes today is, is, is toilet day? If yeah. no one laughs, no one goes, yeah. we should try and see what we can do because these yeah. people don't have them.
Yep. I mean, that you know that would be an option. We can get back to laughing about it later. There's yeah. enough comedy in Kenny's world for them to laugh about toilets. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. on that bit, it'd be nice for people to know it's, it's the real truth and it's a tragedy. Exciting. Shane, thanks so much for speaking. Nice. Nice. If you want to find out more about World Vision or donate to Water Health Life, then go to the website at worldvision.com.au. Ooh.